Hi everybody! I've had a lot of questions about my Lucifer cosplay, specifically the wings, so I figured that I'd just kind of do a general overview on how I put everything together. When I was making the wings, I recorded my progress, so that's what I'm going to be going through, and you guys can kind of see how I was working on everything, kind of go through through the video as if I were actually doing it right then and there. Because there's some of this stuff that I've done for the very first time. Well, more so like all of it. I've never built anything before. But yeah, I just hope that it answers some questions. And if you have any other questions, I highly suggest sending me a message uh, or just commenting and I will try to answer to the best of my ability. The base is made out of PVC. But all I did here was, these are actually carriage screws. So I put a washer in between here so that this can move uh, when it opens and closes. And then another washer here, and then I put a nut so that that stays. But the thing is, when this keeps moving, this kind of becomes unscrewed. So then right here is actually what they call a locking nut, so I was told. And all this is is just a little bit of rubber here so that things don't go all the way off. And this is actually really hard to move. And what I used here, this is actually just climbing rope. I got it from Fleet Farm. There's about 100 feet of it, can hold about 125 pounds. Uh, only about five bucks, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. And the cords are just kind of hanging here right now. Uh, just kind of bunched up at the end. I have yet to put little hooks or something that I can use so I can hold on to it so that it's not just bunched up like this. I'm going to trim down the cord once I figure out exactly how I want it. But as for how I strung this through here, what I did was I just drilled a hole right here, kind of on the end of the PVC. Uh, this PVC is a, right here, half inch PVC. And as far as I know, this is a 10 foot long hole of PVC. I just uh, needed to cut so that I could get it to what I wanted it to. But I drilled through here and kind of just looped it through tied it really tight and you can kind of see it's just strung through there so this is on the inside of the PVC it goes all the way up here it comes out this top piece right here I have it below the screws because I'll be put this is gonna be pulling down and I don't want it rubbing up against the screws there this is just strung through down here uh, it's in front of this one here, behind this one here. And then I string it through this bottom part here. I Instead of having it below the screws, like I had up here, I have it above the screws in this tube, inside of it, because I found that you have to pull it up in order for it to move. Right here is the back plate. Uh, this is actually Sintra PVC board. I bought it from eBay. Two sheets for about eight dollars or so, seven, eight dollars. So it's a pretty good deal. This stuff is actually pretty durable. I might go with acrylic instead because of the weight of the wings. You can kind of see it's a little bit flimsy. I was told that once you heat it up, it will be kind of more sturdy and you can kind of form this to your back. I have yet to try that. This is my first time working with this material, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. It was pretty easy to drill through. This is the skeleton of my wings. I have yet to put feathers on. I'm still kind of debating how to do that, and hopefully sooner rather than later they will be done. I have about 17 days or so before the convention. I've been working on this for about 12 days, so and most of it was just kind of playing around, experimenting, and just kind of figuring out how I want to do things. So I put the Sintra PVC foam board in to this toaster oven here and see it's at about 175 degrees or so for only about 10 minutes and you can't really see it because it's black. It's on the tray here and see it's about 175 or so. That's what it's set at. I'm going to be placing a towel on my back so that it doesn't burn me and then I'm gonna have my mom shape it to my back so that it sits nice. This is my back plate made out of Sintra PVC foam board. It's definitely a lot more sturdy now that we baked it in the oven. We tried it at 175 for 10 minutes and that just wasn't enough. Then we put it in at 300 for about 10 minutes as well after it cooled and it was almost like working with clay.
What I did here was I actually made some feathers. I use this material though because it will kind of reinforce the edges. Like if you bump somebody, if you're at a convention, then it won't fall apart probably as easily as real feathers will. I do have real feathers and I'm going to be attaching those, but these are going to be kind of the main supports. I bought duck and goose feathers from moonlightfeather.com. I highly recommend checking them out. They have very fast shipping. I asked for my stuff to be sent uh, hopefully within a week because I had to finish this outfit and I received my order in about three days. I've decided that I want to hot glue the feathers onto my frame here. I am using chicken wire to hold them on rather than just siliconing them directly to the PVC because that did not hold it at all. I have this on here like so. It's one piece here. See, attached higher than this one. They're just held on by a screw, a washer, and then the screw goes through, and then it's washer, and then a nut on the bottom. And then I'm going to put the feathers directly under this. So I have my glue gun here, a bunch of glue sticks. I've already been through like four of them. But what I'm doing here is I actually uh, hot glued these feathers to each other. This is the back right here. And, you know, I just hot glued them together, like to each other, but not all the way, uh, so that they have more of a support. They're you know, not just flopping everywhere when I open up the wings. This one, this outermost one, is hot glued directly to this pipe here, this PVC, and then kind of have it intertwined in here. You can see there's still some of that silicone left over. I'm going to be covering that up so you won't be seeing any of this, so probably from like here up. It's probably going to be covered with both real and fake feathers. And what I'm doing for more support on these here is I'm just kind of filling in a few squares with hot glue and going around a little bit on the corners, waiting for that to go so that it's forced to stay on here and it has a bit more stability. I've been working on feathering the wings for probably a good six to eight hours already. Uh, you can see here this one is the right wing. This is the back of it actually. I started putting feathers on here. It's not finished. I have the big feathers that I made here in the end and I have duck feathers here and then goose feathers to kind of cover things up. And then this is just fur that we found at a thrift store. We're using to cover the PVC. I'm using quite a bit of hot glue so that everything stays down. You can see over here, I'm not as far on the left wing. I'm starting on the back of that one too. I'm pretty far along with feathering. I'm about 26 hours or so into feathering the wings. I'm now adding some fur material to cover up this PVC here and I'm just waiting for the craft store to get in some more feathers here so I can put some along here. You can kind of see the feathers over here. See it's kind of iridescent green bluish kind of color. Just to add a little bit more and then I'm adding these smaller feathers up on top to kind of blend the fur in with these uh, with the strip of feathers. I did end up moving this wire from this PVC over to this PVC and you can kind of see that better on that one and it's just to better cover it up there's fur here covering this PVC yet there's still enough room for that cord to go through here and for me to pull out there so I'm still kind of trying to figure it out I did use just ass loads of hot glue for stoppers so that it doesn't collapse on itself I only used one pool noodle which is right here because I figured out that's all I needed because that prevents it from getting stuck open. I did have an issue with my back plate. It ended up cracking on me. I'm assuming it's because the wings were too heavy. So I had another piece of Sintra PVC foam board that I ordered from eBay and I shaped that to my first one and now I'm just siliconing it together with my liquid nails that I used for the feathers to attach the dowel to the felt. And now this is just an ice pack that we made full of beans, just setting on top of it to keep that pressure on there. Hopefully this will work.
Well, thank you for watching. I really hope that it answers some questions. My wings do have a 12 foot wingspan. The frame was about 10 feet and it added on an extra two feet, one on each side uh, when I added the feathers on to the ends. But thank you for watching. I really hope that it answers some questions and please leave a comment uh, if you have any questions and I will do the best that I can to answer them for you. Hope you learned something. Thank you.